Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Grand Christmas 7's Super License Center where we're now going to attempt to get a gold medal on uh, Super License Test S4. That would be the Toyota Supra GT500. That would be the 1997 Toyota Supra GT500 on the Toyota... I need a better view of the racetrack. <laughs> okay, course map I think is what I want. Here we go. So we're up shifting here and then we're going to stop at about what looks like the 50 marker meter line. Maybe slightly before. All I'm trying to do now is just trying to see if I can actually, like, finish. <laughs> so I know many of you are already screaming at your computers or mobile phones. To which I say, you're the one who clicked on this video, sorry. So my goal here is to drive it as conservatively as possible, but to just kind of get in the general ballpark. So far, I'm probably already a second behind off of one corner. This is going to be a really long video. I am so sorry for all you watching. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. So that was better. Seemed to get it on the power sooner. They're still pulling away though. So I don't even... I think I need a break earlier and then get on the power sooner because that's how they're making the gains that they are. Being more brave, I suppose. So 150 is a pretty good spot to break by the looks of it. And I hate lifting in those spots there, but the more that you hold the power down, the more that you understeer. So I want to be very, very, very careful. Because if I understeer even a little bit, there's a wall right there to greet me. Hello, I've missed you so much. Oh, <laughs> that spot, that singular spot right there. Probably don't have to break too hard on that corner, turns out. Yeah, but take a look at the ghosts, they're gone. And I could probably break at about a hundred there. This is so irritating. I'm trying my hardest and then you just see the ghost. Okay, definitely not down to third gear. <laughs> this is where I died that last time. Then break. Okay. I think we're in the clear. Really? Only a 204. I only have to shave off four seconds. That's not bad. Because I saw the bronze went down to 213, I would have assumed that I would have to shave off like 10 seconds, but I can I can do four seconds. That's not bad. So first successful attempt. Getting a loose idea of the layout of the course. Um, I think I can start pushing it a little bit more. So again, that felt very much so very late on the brakes, but uh, it looks like that we made up a huge amount of time by braking so late. So I think the only difference that I did this lap versus last is that I broke really late and dropped a second. 
So we're looking at the 120 and the 150 and then 125 broke sooner, but it seems like I'm able to put down the power faster because I've got a closer line to the apex. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, because already I, I feel like I'm in the 201s. Yeah. Okay, so 75. Okay. So again, I'm going to try going flat out through here, not even lifting. And that car is so powerful and so grippy. Yeah, I was... There it is. <laughs> ah! So slight, slight, slight improvement there. We can do this! This is close! This is really close. Normally by this point, I'm, I'm just pissed off that I can't get close. Um... But like with that last run, I've made numerous improvements since then. Like I can probably break a little bit later than the 150 board. And then I figured out if you go full throughout all of them third gear, then you lift off a little bit and then you can kind of go in here. That exit was a little bit wonky though. Tap on the brakes and just No, not quite there, though. Because that last corner exit, still not good enough. Still not good enough. So I'm going to try ducking in as close to the walls as I can. See if I can find any room for improvement to catch up to our ghost here. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah, that, that last part was... <laughs> if you could tell my reactions, I was a little bit too much on edge. A little bit of a break. Coasting. Putting half power down. Half power. Down a gear. Yeah. I overcorrected on that one. It went a little bit too wide and had to just really turn in the wheel. I think that's where we lost our time. Or not. Hmm. I think I can do better. Just humor me, humor me on this one. How do they get such a good exit every single time? Ugh. I feel like I'm on the power really, really quickly, so I feel like I should be having a better exit where I am catching up to them. Apparently it's just not enough, so, I don't know, a little bit past 150? Yeah. That's what they're doing, too. Uh, I mean, that was an all right exit. I mean, nothing to write home about, I guess. But, like, it, it worked. It didn't feel great. But I, I feel like I'm definitely closer to the ghost than I was previously. So, kind of go out wide. Come in here. Come in there. Where do we where do we want to figure for where we're gonna break? I don't know, a little bit past the 150 mark. Eh, a little bit too far. Yeah, that ruined it. Oh well. That was a good reaction there. I 
And what are we gonna get? Technically a better time. I dropped six tenths. I still feel like it could be better. Nah, but I'll just let that one go. That that was not too bad. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Got a couple more of these coming on up, so stay tuned for them, of course. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.